Gary V. They even told you to get backhand corner breaks. Now, there's a few little tricks, and it really becomes quite simple to be able to get the ball out of the backhand corner. Here's a boast, and that's gone for a nick. Comes back to me, and it's pretty good. It's really simple. A few people make a lot of mistakes with a boast, trying to just slam it out of there with their arm and flick their wrist and all sorts of things. You really only need to get really compact and use your body turn to actually get the ball out. So part of the deal is if I face the corner to start, my body's in a nice open position. And watch what happens if I go and transfer my weight. If I get all my weight onto this leg here, my left leg, all of a sudden I can actually turn around. I can actually see that corner over there. So I can dig anything out here really easy simply by just getting over this back hip. If I'm over my front hip, obviously I can't see it much around there at all. So half the trick is to actually get your weight on your back leg. That'll solve most of the problem. So the next stage you need to go and prime your body or prep your body. So you can prep your body, which means get your shoulder behind the ball and keep everything nice and compact. So if I keep my body back here and I go and get my shoulder back, I'm in a really good strong position to be able to drive my body around and turn. Next, I'm going to turn my body. I'm going to bring my racket down. And I'm going to turn, 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 turn. Now, I have not even swung my arm at all. I'm trying to hit off this back hip. I'm not trying to do this at all to bring the ball out. What I'm trying to do is make this the pivot point back here. So I'm trying to make this the pivot point. Because you see what happens? See how it comes around and it gets the ball out of the corner really easily as much as I possibly can. But if I make this the pivot point, now all of a sudden the whole swing's gotten really big and really awkward. So I've got to make this the pivot point here. And that's where it all comes from. So I go around this point here and I keep everything compact and I turn my body before I swing. So from here I can just throw it into the back wall, I can throw it into the side wall, I'll throw it into the corner here, turn, and that will come out easy. I didn't hit the third wall in the full, so I'm going to go and get it. Okay. So as long as you go around your back hip there and you go and turn before you even swing, see where my racket is pointing now? It's pointing out that way, which is exactly where the boat is going to go, and I've already done all the work with my body. So I can get around really quickly, really easy. Turn out, and then that'll come out easily. Okay, so all I've done is stay compact and turn. Well, what about if I don't swing my arm at all? Here. Okay, I hardly swung my arm at all, and the ball still came out. All right? And it's really quite simple. Um, you can go a little bit further. You can go with a more open stance, if you like. So I can face the side wall. And then if the ball's there, that's easy because your body's really open. But if I face the back wall, it gets really difficult because then I've got to really try and get behind and leverage my angle to get it right. So it's a bit awkward. So you want to go with an open stance as much as possible, but not too, too, too open. Okay, so a slightly closed stance. You can be slightly more open than the corner if you like, and it makes it really quite simple because then you're still hitting off this back hip and you can really get in. What you have to do really is just miss that back wall and still have a full swing. So I can be in here. I can be right in here. That's, that's basically, on my stomach is the racket and the racket's into, into the side wall. So I'm basically here, and I can turn that out, and that will come out. And it still came out all the way back to me, which proves that the boast went in, it hit the third side wall, and it came out all the way. And that's from right in here. And that's because I turned all the way through here before I even swung. So you won't do that. That wouldn't be advisable, because that's just really awkward. And I had to use everything I had to get that out of there. But um, it just shows you that what you can do with body turn versus arm and flick is pretty phenomenal. So it's all about body turn, but you have to wind it up. If you do not wind up, you cannot unwind. It's that simple. So it's all about this and this back hip. Get those two things right, and then just unwind and stay strong, and then you're looking fantastic. Gary Peterson here. Today I've got Jess, she's gonna give us a hand. We're gonna work on a backhand volley, and we're gonna to look to actually push your wrist towards the front wall when she volleys. So let's see what she's got for a backhand volley down the wall. Good. And again. And again. One more. Okay. 
First things I'll just fix up really quickly. When you actually go front foot, which is what Jess is doing, you actually tend to pr really pronounce the ability to go around your body. So I'm going to get her to go back foot for a start, and that'll actually open up cutting and allow her wrist to go down the wall, and it'll change her accuracy back foot. Okay, we'll be right. Here we go. And again. Good, we're starting to get there. Okay, one more. Right. So now from here, what I want you to do is I want you to start to lift your elbow out a little bit and push your wrist toward the front wall. Try and get a straight line down the floorboard with your wrist. The more you do that, the really direct you'll get. So instead of going around this way and finishing over here, let's go out that way and we'll direct the ball beautifully down the wall. So let's go. Elbow out a little bit and there. And really get some strong, sharp hands. Okay, again. Back and back. Good. So now what's happening Good, see that there? That little flick out there, that push out there is giving you the direction. So that bit there, there, I want you to start hitting them now. So we don't want to play with it, we want to start to seriously. With a backhand volley, what we do is we drive flat. So you drive the ball flat. So when the ball comes here, there, there, flat down the wall, nice and neat. Here we go. Flat, good. Wrist out, flat. Good, again. Okay, one more. Good, okay. The last thing you need is you need a little bit of stored energy. And that means when you come back here, you need a little bit of this back here, so you've got stored energy to go through to your punch hit. When you follow through, you don't need much follow through, so it's all about back here to a stop. So get your energy from behind, and then we go forward. There, and flat. And open the edge, follow through. There, now we're starting to get into it. Let's start to really, I want you to snap your hands towards the front wall, sharp on them. That's all right. Oh, I can't get that. Here we go. Great shot. Body. Good. And again, strong. Good. So you just got to get your hips back this way. And then you'll get some power. Elbow out a little bit. Wrist the front wall. There. And again. Good. That's the last one starting to come along really nicely. You can see that one just got a little bit neater at the end. All right, what we do with this, we always do a test. So what you need to do is get five quality targets within four floorboards in a row to actually be able to be classed as confident. And this is a test we just give people at home generally to see if they're capable. Let's go. Here we go. One. Wrist forward. Nearly. No good. We're back to zero here. One just. Good. Two. That's a little wrist move which is forward to the front wall. Here we go. Good. That's one we want. Three. Here we go. Nearly, only three. Get your wrist out and leave with that front edge. When you finish, make sure you follow through and follow through with an open face. Yep, keep your open face open on the follow through. One, just. Two. Nearly three, yes, that's all right. Four. Just five, ripper. So there you go, that's it. It's a little simple thing. It's a wrist towards the front wall. Here, wrist out that way a little bit. If you get that little straight line there, you'll get the outcome of a beautiful straight drive. Flatten it out, keep it low, you'll get a great result.